Hello and welcome to your monthly release update from Native VMS. We hope you're enjoying the new format for these sessions and that you're finding it easier to find the information that's most relevant to you. This month we're going to be talking about changes to list view searching and also the bugs that we have resolved in the last month. To give us the information on that and more, let's hand over now to Willem Jan and Jörg who are going to take us through the details. Over to you guys. Okay, thank you, Kieran. Uh, Thanks. Before we dive in, the, this release is going to acceptance to your acceptance environment upcoming Friday, the August the 2nd. And almost a week later, a little bit more than a week later, on Monday the 12th, uh, August the 12th, uh, it will go to, uh, to your production environment. So let's dive in. Excellent. Yeah, so this was a summer month. Um, many of our developers on holidays, so we don't have any big features to uh, uh, tell you about this time. We did do a couple of nice things in this uh, release. Uh, I will start with the first one, and that is uh, all about searching from the, uh, the new the improved list view that we have in our VMS. Uh, the search field used to work with sort of an automatic detection after you type for um, a little bit or after you wait for a little bit uh, when typing, it would automatically initiate a search. And we have found that um, with uh, many use cases, it, this would initiate a search before actually the full search, uh, the word or number for a job or something was, uh, uh, was entered and you needed to wait until that search was finished before the next uh, part of your um, uh, search query was uh, complete and actually the, the word you wanted to search uh, was, um, was there. So what did we change? Uh, we changed these fields in these list views to uh, start searching on a press of return basically. Um, we found that usually you know what you want to search for so it doesn't hurt to completely fill out the search term and press enter and this uh, will have the effect that you actually get your search results quicker it's uh, just a little switch of uh, of how you start start to search that's it nice yeah and we're interested to see how that uh Hopefully how it goes it's an improvement yes Another thing we tackled this release is uh, Elblad Web Services, a very sexy topic. Uh, we have a couple of services which can be used to synchronize uh, master data, customer master data, like departments and uh, cost units uh, with your external system to our system. Um, and although these web services work perfectly fine, um, they are not very suitable, or were not very suitable yet for, uh, for multi-tenant environments. So basically, this is more focusing on MSP partners who have multiple customers in one org, and want those give those uh, customers the ability to uh, synchronize the data with web services. Um, what we can do now is that we can provide a web service account to those customers. You can, of course, um, and we can ensure that that account can only synchronize the data for that specific customer. So uh, this is something we have added now, uh, so to make it more compatible with multi-tenant environments. We've done that now for the for the customer data web services, so like departments, cost units, users, uh, locations. Um, um, the same is already already applicable for the uh, web service where you can use to import time cards. Um, and in the upcoming releases, we will also make other services where needed available to make them multi-tenant. Great. So this is partially convenience, but also security, right? By dividing this, this, the services in this exactly. way. Exactly. You, you, still, you already had to, to know the actual customer ID you had to provide so to which sure. customer the data needs to link to. But uh, and sometimes it, it's uh, it's not that's not full not foolproof, of course. Yeah. And now we actually added an extra security layer to to ensure that customer A cannot import Can data. To not ever, A. not even exactly. guessing an ID. You exactly. cannot ever access it. Yeah, and another thing to mention, I think, is that uh, you cannot set this up yourself. So it's to inform you that it's available, but uh, yeah, you need to go through a consultant of ours to actually set all of this up. So if you're interested, uh, let us know, and we will uh, help you with that. Yeah. Great. We also did uh, one uh, bug fix. Um, this was a weird one where uh, in some cases the timesheet 
uh, summary didn't um, uh, yeah didn't match the actual values in the timesheet. So you would have uh, yeah some hours on days, and then the totals and the summary would not reflect that. And we found out that actually in the current timesheet implementation, this was happening because somebody would uh, want to change a, a timesheet. They would edit it, uh, change some values, and then cancel this editing, cancel out of the changes. Um, and you expect that the old values would be turned back, be put back because yeah, you canceled out of it. And this would not happen correctly. Uh, so yeah, those totals would not match up. Uh, this is now corrected, so um, we expect this not ever happening again. So feel free to cancel as many times you want. <laughs> yeah, when exactly. Entering time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's all we have in this release. Uh, as Eric already said, uh, uh, not a very uh, 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 not very big. Exactly. Uh, but uh, that's all we have uh, for now, and uh, we hope to see you next month. Yeah, let's take a quick look at the um, uh, dates for the rest of the year. Um, you've seen Here it you all a couple of times. These are the dates, and yep. uh, yeah, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks. Thanks guys, always good to be updated on what we've been working on and what new features are on their way. That pretty much wraps things up for today, but if you want to know any more information about anything you've seen today, please feel free to contact your consultant, they'll be more than happy to talk you through and give you any additional information you need. We hope you found the session useful and that you can join us again, but until then, it's goodbye from us. Mm -hmm.